What's happening, people? So while I was in the West Countries, the locals said I should check this place out. They said it's the most haunted place they know about. Watch to the end, honestly. If you reckon I should head back with Mark to do a paranormal, let me know. Standing outside one of the most haunted places that I've heard. So this place was built in 1760. Speaking to some of the locals, believe it or not, a man, an elderly man, took his own life in one of the rooms. Now, suicide is a very serious thing. And it's not recognised that people need help. Also, people also say there's a little boy that goes round and been seen many a times in this building on an old penny farthing. Believe it or not. We don't even know if we're going to get in, but look at how creepy this place is. Imagine coming up this drive in the times, straight in this door, and some people never left. So this was a huge mansion back in the day, then used as a, a care home, built in 1760. So, so many people, as I said, elderly, came in, and the last way they got carried out of this place. So guys, let's take you on a tour. Look at the size of the grounds though. So if we're gonna see anything, we're gonna see it in here today. see just partly the old flooring. Now I've got high hopes in this place. It looks pretty damn trashed, should I say. But it's the history here. It's 1700s this place dates back to. And the fact that there's a recorded suicide in this place, as I said. I don't like mentioning it because I know there's a lot of people out there that go through a lot of breakdowns, the same as myself even for it. We got a piece there to show you. But, and also there's been sightings of a little child that goes around in a penny farm in this place. So yeah, I'm really open-minded on this. I really want to see, maybe me and Mark come back and spend a night here, who knows. That two of them down there, so I'm gonna have a little walk around upstairs. I'm going to take you into the room where they said he hung himself. Oh, you can feel the stairs are really... Oh, right there, guys. Stairs are literally giving away. Oh, no way. It's terrible. Hello, you. So obviously been brought down here today by one of the locals. Mark actually came here many years ago. Room 21. This is where it happened. And 
straight away, you're not going to believe me, but I've got such a cold feeling standing in there already. I think I'm a coat when I'd show you, I've got goosebumps. It's absolutely freezing in this room. So weird, you can pat that into here, you can feel the change of temperature massively. That literally, not even joking, that was literally wobbling. It's completely stopped. It's a bit uh, random. If there's anyone here, do you want me to? Want me to leave? Make a sound, a bang. It's just the room you hung yourself in. Someone's come here and stole all the fireplaces. I can smell the mold up here, it stinks in the second floor. Is it weird in here or is it me? Annie don't come in, she's scared. I was going to say, there's definitely something weird about this place. So where's the guy meant to hung himself? Is it meant to be room 21? At top of stairs. What, up here? Yeah. Not top oh, of the stairs. So there's room 21 where the kid, is it the child spotted on his... Oh, okay, I've got it completely wrong then. So literally it was up here at the top of the staircase. So room 21 I've got it mixed up as the child that was caught. That loads of people have seen him. Because you try and imagine this place how it looked. Obviously before it was a care home, it was probably a grand staircase, all painted, all the rooms more open, but obviously they've uh, utilized the space to make it as many rooms as they can. But it's a bit weird, definitely weird. Like. How, do, how did you two feel? Cold. I'm 
Go in room 21 and tell me how cold that room is. As you go down the stairs, do a right and go along. What, down here? Yes, yeah, so on that floor you're on there. But go into room 21, I swear. I've never felt so cold in a room. I mean, it's cold in here, but it just feels like it drops so much in that room. But it is, it's just so, I don't know, it's just so weird. Like, it's just weird. Yeah, something just fell out of the loft. What the fuck? It's coming up. Hello? What the fuck is that? I just waiting for someone to jump down on me up there. Hello? I'm going to keep the camera this way at the minute because I know a lot of you are going to be watching this and be like he just shut the door I can tell you now nah, I don't do shit like that and I'm going to swear because guys that door just literally shut fucking on me does anyone here shut that door again Is there any up here? No, no. This literally door just shut behind me and now this one's squeaking away on me. I've got it all on camera as well. I've not like I've been standing the whole time. This literally door just opened. He can't even just open it either. Twenty-one? Yeah. No, it's cold and it's horrible. It wasn't that door though, it was that one there. I was looking out, just come back from the loft because a coat hanger come down from the loft. Shut up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, like, no one will believe it, unless you're here. But no, I've heard it. That's no, I was up here and there was a bang, but the only thing near the, there like, is a big metal coat hanger. Fit. Unless you see that coat hanger up here when you was up here. Did you, Did you that see one? that? No, but I heard the bang from yeah, downstairs. That's what I said, but no, that's what I said. I don't care, no one believes me, but it was that literally. That, well, that's the only thing up here that banged. And then as I walked away, that door literally shut behind me like the wind shut it. It's freezing down there, though. And then this door just creaked away on its own. But look, look at that door. That's what I'm saying, the wind wouldn't just blow that door. No, it did, but these are, these are proper, like, heavy doors, though. Fire doors. I'm going to go in here. It's a messed up place in there. It's not normal. Yeah, but if someone took their life in it, you know, it's not got good vibes in here, is it? This is the room, literally, I was standing in the hall, and this door literally just creaks and shuts up, like it's doing now. And you can see there's a bar on the back, so the wind wouldn't just blow this door. It's got one of these that keep the door shut. I mean, the tension on that. <laughs> I'm not even here with no ghost equipment. I need to come back to this place. It's, it's a complete mess. I'm not going to lie, it's not a grand home. It's not a place that I'd normally explore. But when we heard from two local people that you need to go up to the old... Um, I can't say the name of it because I don't want people coming here and trash it. Well, it's kind of trash, but you know, setting fire to it and all that. So it's best to keep. I mean, you can see people have been in here obviously stolen all the probably the copper piping. Is that one of you now?
Who's up here? Huh? Who's up here? Who? Who's up here? There's a Chrissy up there. I don't know. I'm on about the bang then and the footsteps up here. Doors keep shutting, mate. I swear. It's like things want you to be trapped in the rooms. No, oh not shit! In here. Huh? Not in here. Shut up. The door just literally banged up here. Is there anyone here? I don't expect an answer, but you know. Oh, in the hall. Shut the door like you did. <laughs> Someone's messing with me, I swear. Unless you keep a camera on me, then you can see that literally something down there was just literally banging away. Is there anyone here? Sounds like someone walking around. <sighs> Don't like this place. Do not like this place. I'm literally standing at this top of the staircase here. So some poor guy took his life literally at the top of these stairs. He's banging around. It's the old kitchen area. Such a weird place. It's like that was me that time. But, but my camera's not picking up all this all the time. It's literally like noise all the time. That's when they said that's like a sign as well, like moths. Guessing they're all outside now as well. Such a weird feeling in this place. I'm going to joke as well. There's no other way up here, I swear to you. Even though I keep the camera this way and then move it this way quick. There's literally no other way. Did you throw the wood down the stairs? Well, I think it was the wood, it was the only thing on the stairs.
don't care if you bang any more, I'm literally heading down. Keeping it this way, the camera all the time. Around the sides. Literally. I just don't like it. So I mean. This is a horrible place. Shades and she moving. I want to get out. I actually want to get out. And I don't, there's not a lot of phases me. Oh my day. Oh. Oh, I can feel the beam moving. So she's moving under my feet. I don't even know what to hold on to anymore. soft. Oh, I've got to go back across. There's no way. Hello? Who's that? back across this floor. Watch your head. <laughs> uh, have you been across it? No, I, I have to get out. Hey? I have to get out. You want to get out? I've already been out. Can't hear you. I've been out. Come back in to see what you're doing. Well who's in here then? Huh? Am I literally in here on my own? Who's been banging then? Everyone, the sink's been knocking around all the time up here. I want to get out of here. Oh shit. Oh, there's the floor in everywhere. Oh, fucking hell. Excuse my language, guys, but I don't like it, this place. It's literally horrible. It's not horrible because oh, I have a lot of steering, I've got flooring. That's a nice all the time. left the door wide open. I did cut the footage as well because I was making sure that everyone was outside but I can't actually see them so I think they've actually gone back to the car. But it was literally here. Coming through here. I can't even see the door now. It was so weird. Another staircase going upstairs. Excuse my language, 
bitch, guys. I'm literally. No freaking way. No freaking way is that door shut again. Hello? Shit. What the fuck? I need to get out, need to get out of here. Shit, that's not my own. Joking. Oh fuck. Where is the fucking way out of here? Chris! Addy! Yeah. Oh, I need to ring. Right, we're coming through the stairs. Two doors. That's locked. Up stuff or whatever. I generally ain't, I don't like it at all. Oh, how'd you get out of here? How oh, is it? Oh, shit. I'm going to argue any comments that disbelieves unless one of the other three women, which I can't see it, are still in there. Holy shit, let's just get out of here. I'm going to keep my camera rolling in the hall. Let's just get the hell out of here. Do you know what? I've been into a lot of buildings, a lot of old houses, a lot of creepy little cottages, little places in the woods, stuff that I can explain and I feel like people have picked up on a lot of things in the videos that stuff has happened. But this place has got such a weird feeling. <sighs> Guys and girls, I literally need to come back here with Mark. It's terrifying in there on my own. Like obviously, I don't know, it's just something so weird about this place. Maybe I should bring back some ghost stuff and do some paranormal investigation. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Guys, like and subscribe. Love you loads. Thank you so, so much for supporting AWE with my adventures. Yeah. Yeah. Can't really explain this one. There's a lot of stuff going on in there. A bit too much for me. You know, I've heard noises before, creaks and stuff, but I just ignore it. But this was definitely, definitely something a bit weird in there. <sighs> Literally, I'm not going to lie. That was a very crazy experience for me. Like... It's 
see the other guys are in the car. Oh, shoot. There's a useful sign there. That's crazy ass in there. That's probably the most weirdest place I've ever been in. Huh? Let's get that out of here.